Okay, we are continuing our journey through the Microsoft Official Academic Course Lab Manual, installing and configuring Windows 10 in preparation for exam 70-698. This next set of videos will go over Lab 10, which is configuring remote management. So we're going to start this video with 10.1, configuring remote desktop. So it wants us to log on to CO1 as a data administrator. So we're going to do that now. We have not logged into the DC1 yet. So log on as datum slash administrator. All right, so now we're logged into CL1. We're going to go ahead and right click. And we're going to click on the system, but this doesn't take us exactly where we need to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in system. Let's do it this way. Control panel. Search control panel. Okay, here we are in control panel. We want to go into system. And this is where we're going to see remote settings. And we're going to see that we currently do not allow remote connection to this computer. So we want to select Allow Remote Connections option. And then we want to select the Users button. And you'll see we have not added any users yet. Um, a datum administrator already has an access to this. So we're going to click on OK. And then OK. And then we're going to close out of this. Now we're going to go ahead and minimize and we're going to log on to DC1 as Datum Administrator. Here's my DC1. system on this as well. So I'm going to right click system and again go into remote settings and then I want to allow remote connection in this computer option. And then click on OK. So let me do that one more time. Allow remote connections in this computer. Okay, it's not letting me do this here. Okay, it's this one. get a message about a firewall. Oh, 
we're gonna go ahead and close out of this. Now let's just go over to CL1. Your CL1. We're gonna go ahead and right click. I'm gonna type in remote. Right click, search, remote, desktop connection, and we want to type in LON DC1 and then connect. Okay, we're going to type in the password and OK. Okay, and now I'm in my remote desktop connection. You can see that we're on LAN CL1, which is Windows 10, and yet we're in our server manager. So this would be where, you, if you're required to do so, you would just screenshot from here. So we're going to close DC window and then disconnect from the system by clicking on the X at the top of the window. Okay, so there's my there's my actual machine. So I'm going to go ahead and click on here. I'm going to click on OK. Now we're going to click on the start button. Okay, now we're back on CL1. I'm going to go ahead and right click and type in remote desktop. Now this time we want to do show options. And we want to click on the display tab. We want to change this to 800 by 600 pixels. And then click on local resources. And then click on more. We want to expand the drives node. and select the local C drive. Now we're going to go ahead and click on OK and then connect. And connect again. We're going to log in as a data administrator, use our password. Okay, there's our 
our window is really small. Minimize that. Now the next thing we're going to do is there we go. And it wants us to take a screenshot showing the page with the remote desktop connection. So go ahead and take your next screenshot if you're required to do so. Now in the Lawn DC1 remote desktop connection window, we're going to click on our file explorer here. And then we want to double click the C drive. There we go. So now you'll see that the C drive comes up as C on lawn dash DL1. Where we have local disk. So there's our CL1 and there's our C disk. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and log off of DC1. So we'll go ahead and do OK. And then we're going to leave CL1 open for the next exercise. And that is the end of this video and the end of this exercise. The next video will go over exercise 10.2, which is configuring remote assistance.